How cold is too cold for your dog to hunt? Welcome to Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, where you can learn to train your retriever with our online courses. So a question we get pretty often is, you know, how do I know if it's too cold to take my dog out hunting with me? Now, there's a variety of different factors that could go into that. So there's not really a magical temperature number because you've got wind chill, you've got the actual coldness itself, you've got water, you've got tons of different factors to kind of factor in there. So it's a lot easier to just actually monitor your dog's body language and make sure that your dog is okay itself. So with that said, I'm gonna share with you three things that you can do or three tips that you can take and keep in mind to help you make sure your dog does the best that it can do in cold weather hunting. And really tip number one is keep your dog as dry as possible and keep them out of the wind. Being wet and having a strong wind chill is a disaster for getting super cold too fast and that can end a hunt very quickly. So what I mean by that is you wanna keep your dog as dry as possible. And we're talking about water dogs here so it's they're not gonna be perfectly dry but you can make sure that they have the best setup as possible. For example, if you're using a ground blind or a dog blind that allows water to drain off of them and drain out from where they're sitting, that is a great thing because that's going to keep them as dry as possible. Whereas if you're hunting in a field, maybe in a pit blind and the dog box is filled up with water, that is not good because you don't wanna leave your dog sitting there in the water. You wanna make sure that they have a place that they can get out of the elements and out of the wind, which is another great point of using a dog blind because it's gonna help shield them from the wind. Again, the wind, it can be very strong out in fields and timber, not so much, uh, but in fields, the wind can be very strong. And if your dog is wet and it's very cold and the wind's blowing hard, that can be a recipe for disaster. So make sure they have a place to get out of the wind and make sure that they can stay as dry as possible. And one other little extra tip is to use a dog vest. Make sure to load them up, put that dog vest on on really cold days. That's gonna allow their body heat to recirculate a bit and it's gonna help keep them a little warm. Plus it's gonna give them a little layer of protection from the wind as well as it can protect them from ice or offer at least some protection from ice as they're swimming in the water. So that is tip number one, make sure to keep them dry and out of the wind. Tip number two is keep an emergency blanket and towel. Now I wanna say this, don't let it get to this point. Make sure that you're following the other tips, the first tip and the last tip that I'm gonna recommend for you. But if it does get to this point, you actually wanna be prepared to make sure that you can keep your dog safe. If you start to see your dog get lethargic or they start to act weird, uh, then you want to make sure that you get them warmed up quickly and get them out of the element. So dry them off, wrap that blanket around them, and really probably even stop the hunt if things are looking really crazy. You got to make sure that you protect your dog and keep them safe. But you definitely don't want to let it get to this point if you can help it. But you also always want to be prepared in any situation because hunting in cold weather, you never know. It can be dangerous. It can get cold really fast. It can get even colder fast. So you've got to always be prepared for every situation. And tip number three is condition your dog for the cold. Now this is one of those things that a lot of people don't think about, but you've gotta make sure that your dog is number one, physically conditioned and actually in shape, but number two, actually conditioned to the elements. If you haven't done a lot of training during the off season and your dog has been in the house a lot, then when you go out there and it's freezing, you can't expect them to perform well. So make sure that you get them out and work them in the cold, train your dog on a regular basis. So as the seasons change, it can go from warm weather, your dog can learn to work in that. Then as things cool off, they can work in cool weather. And as it gets really cold, your dog will be comfortable working in the cold, assuming that you've worked them on a regular basis. And then make sure you take every opportunity to get them outside and let them experience the cold weather so that their bodies can be used to it and very comfortable with it. If you'll take all these three tips in mind, you're gonna make sure that you're ready for hunting your dog in the cold and you can help keep them as safe as possible.